Welcome to the Branson Woodland Shop. I have a trumpet with a stuck third valve. There are a lot of reasons for valves to be stuck. Uh, this one though, it's because there's a dent at the bottom of the casing. The way to fix a valve when there's a dent in the casing is to use a ground casing mandrel. Here are some of my ground casing mandrels. I own about 25 or 30 maybe, uh, but these are the ones that I use the most. These are cylindrical for most of the length of them, and then the end is tapered just a little bit, uh, and that allows it to go past any dents that there are. The cylindrical part is precision fit down to a thousandth of an inch, and they have a number on them. This is 682, and that's how many thousandths of an inch they are. This one would work on the old Condirector Coronets, uh, and then I have other sizes that I use a lot. Uh, this is 664. And that's used on Yamaha and Bach. 650 is used on Bundy. This is 660, which is mostly used on King. And this one's a larger one, and it is 925, and it's used on Yamaha Baritones. The valve casing mandrels work very well when there's a problem with the casing. Uh, they don't work at all when the problem is with the valve. So the first thing to do is diagnose if the problem is the casing or the valve. And that's pretty easy to do. On this trumpet, the first and second valves work fine, and then the third one has the problem. So you know that the problem is either with the third valve or the third valve casing. One easy way to check is to pull out the valves and then just switch them around and see what the problem is. In this case, the third valve works fine in the second casing, so we know that probably the valve is going to be okay. And then the second valve, which worked fine in the second casing, does not work in the third casing. So usually, almost always, not every time, but usually that means the problem is with the third valve casing. The most common reasons that casings get damaged is there's a dent in the casing, which is the case on this one. Also, slides can get shifted around. If I took the third valve slide and pulled on it, it would push into the casing, and then that can cause valves not to work too. Another common reason for casing problems is a foreign object being lodged in the casing. And a lot of times uh, when someone's cleaning it, they'll put the snake in there and then it will, it will like bend and then they pull it out and it can cause problems. Another problem you can have with casings, although it's not nearly as common, is these little braces that hold the casings together. Sometimes those can get pushed together and it can push into the inside of the casing. But that's pretty rare. In all of those cases, the metal of the casing has gotten damaged and the, the inside of the valve is no longer cylindrical. So the theory behind the ground casing mandrel is that whatever is not cylindrical inside the valve casing, we're going to put a cylindrical piece of steel inside of there and it's going to push out whatever is not cylindrical inside the valve. It is a little more complicated though than just putting the casing mandrel into the trumpet. The first thing to do is diagnose what is wrong with the casing. So you're going to want to clean out the inside of the casing. I have a flute cleaning rod with some cheesecloth on there and I'm just going to clean that out inside the casing. Just run that through a few times. That will clean off all the oils and other things inside of there so that you can see what you're doing better. The next thing to do is hold it up to a light and see if you can see any problems visually. Often you'll see a place inside of there where it's kind of worn down a little bit and the metal might be a little shinier in that area. Uh, and that usually should tell you where the dent is or where the problem is with the casing. For this instrument, right towards the bottom on the inside, there is a little shiny spot and that corresponds with the dent on the outside of the casing. So we know that that's where the problem is. Put the mandrel inside of there and then I find the place where the problem is. The next tools I'm going to use are rawhide mallet. I'll use that first to tap down the dent to some extent. The next tool I'm going to use is called a dent hammer and I have different sizes but on this one you want to use the smallest one and there's a small piece of metal, of steel, it has rounded and smoothed off ends. Since there's a little bit of brass between steel and steel, even though this is very small, it is going to act quickly on that dent and it's going to just take that dent and push it out. I'm bridging the mandrel with my thumb and two fingers, and then with the other fingers I'm just holding the trumpet uh, stable. And now I'm going to tap on the dent. And I can tell that the mandrel is already working easier. Uh, so next, next the dent hammer, and you tap very lightly 
and make sure to get right on the dent. And usually it doesn't take too many taps, about that many. I'm going to put the valve in and try it, and if it still doesn't work, I'm going to tap it some more. But if that does the trick, then you don't need any more tapping. So put the valve in, and screw down the cap. The valve does work. It's not quite as smooth as the other ones, though. That could just be because it needs oil, or it could mean that I need to work on it a little more. Now I'm going to push it down a little bit off to the side. Okay. If I push it off to the side, it works from every direction, so it's probably okay. I probably just need to oil the valve. Now put some oil on there. Also, this valve may just not work too well because there are several places where the plating has been worn off. Unless you want to do a very expensive repair on this, a valve job, that's just the way it's going to be for the rest of its life. And it, it works like it is, so it's probably best just to leave it. Now that seems to work okay. This time the ground casing manual did a very quick repair of this instrument. Uh, they aren't always that easy. Sometimes that you have to work on them for a quite a bit longer time. Usually you can do a, a repair like this in just a few minutes though. These manuals usually work very well, but if you only have one instrument to fix, it's probably not worth the cost of buying one just for one instrument. So just take it to a repair shop and let them do it for you. However, if you are going to be doing a lot of instruments, of the same size of valve casing, uh, you definitely should buy these. And if you have a repair shop, it is good to have several of them of the sizes that you see the most. I hope this video has been helpful. Please feel free to subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.